Now the expansion uh, changed the game for you. The expansion the was it's beautiful and it adds a nice, interesting twist. I don't really get its purpose. I mean, like in the story of the game. Oh, well, in the or... story, that's it is confusing in the story because like all these rulers from different world time. It adds this like space, like and time continuum rift, which is weird. Yeah. When I have like. Cleopatra and David ruling this city-state, like it, right, and you're and they're ruling uh, together, so, democratic, together, and your roads, yeah. your roads. So yeah, that's just weird. But and it's an, it's another layer that's like interesting, fun to play with. But I don't know why it's there. Like <laughs> as an expansion, it doesn't really add much to the game. That's funny. I mean, it adds one additional thing, which just, like, helps you get more victory points. It doesn't... Well, one of the things we were talking about was that it really pops the game up in terms of, like, taking it from generalized options to real specific options if you well, decide to... it does, to, but they're doing the like, same thing. And you don't have to do it anyway, so you could really just to. fuck, say fuck it and sell all your leaders for gold and... Right, or burn them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Um, in game, there's, I guess you could argue there. It, the only reason to do it would be for more victory points, and if you choose that reason, then you're limiting your options right away. Yeah, it definitely sets you on like a path. Yeah. If you're going to follow your leaders, then you have to decide whether you want to follow that path or not, which makes sense. And there's little opting out of that path, which you could argue in the solid game once you're to like late phase. Even phase two, like once it starts, you're kind of locked in what you're gonna do. But I feel like that quickens it when you yeah. have the leaders. I mean, it's beautiful, and I played it. Well, I've only played with leaders once, and it was fun. But just once? I think so. Oh, um, maybe twice, but not a lot. I don't have a lot of experience with the leaders. Um, Seven Wonders didn't seem like a game that would have an expansion like that, mm -hmm. but it would have like different. Um, like settings or times or things like that. Yeah. Like the expansion would be new wonders with different powers and things. Right. I'd be much more interested in an expansion that did that. It did add Rome to the thing, but yeah. it's all why leader not add, based. Like, yeah, it is all leader based. And yeah. Why not add like 32 more civilizations? Like that'd be crazy fun. Yeah. Make it modern. Do like United States, Paris. Like that'd be really interesting and fun. That would with be. all the same art. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah. So in that aspect, I'm like, it's an expansion that does like very. That's fair. Um, last night, Bo was like, you know, it'd be nice if they did another expansion and added, like, another science or, you know, another this or that. And I was thinking about, you know, if you change the base cards, that would really move things around, you know? Just um, playing things, uh, you know, playing with an expansion that, you know, adds a couple more civilizations and one or two like new categories of cards or yeah, another science, something maybe like government because it gets meshed in with science usually. yeah but uh, yeah I mean but then we're talking about like a pretty deep expansion though right so the good thing about the Seven Wonders expansion is it doesn't divide a player already because if you know how to play Seven Wonders you know how to play the expansion generally right right it's, it's not, real easy to do yeah whereas Brianna had a new expansion that was adding new sciences and new ways to add things I mean be a little hinky. Yeah, because it doesn't really change the mechanics of the game. Um, Brianna was saying that she would recommend that um, new people play with the leaders straight away. Um, so then, you know, they wouldn't feel as bogged down by the number of decisions or choices because the leaders are directing some of that. And I was saying, you know, that playing without the leaders really helps you appreciate the base game. And then the leaders just enhance that. I do like the base game more than I like it with the expansion. I mean, yeah. For me, it really like made it fresh again. Yeah, you know, there's totally. a newness to it. It's a brand new aspect um, that's great. But... but we do go back and forth. Like, oh, let's just play Seven Wonders No Leaders. You know, it's definitely something that, you know, we take or leave depending on what mood And that's we're in. like my drawback to the expansion in general is there's like no real reason to play with it. I mean, right. like, Shadowhunter's expansion, I always want to play with the expansion. You have to. It's more characters, and, right. you know, that makes that game great. The Seven Wonders expansion 
doesn't necessarily make it a better game. It just makes it slightly different with another phase. Yeah, I think that's fair. If it, I mean, it's almost like you could definitely make an argument um, that if the expansion doesn't force itself into the game in a way, like making itself so necessary to the game, then it isn't really that great of an expansion. You know, like it, like Shadowhunters found its way, you know, to being vital to the game. Like, yeah. it really is necessary. I always want to play with the expansion. That's it. And so, um, the same with uh, Pandemic on the brink. Like, Ooh. even if we're not playing Mutagen or whatever. Mutagen is super fun. Like, yeah. We play with the other people. Uh-huh. We never play with the original people. So, that's it. If you never go back to the base game again, that's a fucking... Expansion. A good expansion, yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say about the expansion? Expansion. The art is beautiful, and that's the only reason I play with it, because I can stare at those cards all day. <laughs> that's fair. They did a good job on the people, the the leaders themselves. Um, which I wasn't 100% sure if they, you know, really do uh, well with, because, you know, everything's very sort of um, uh, painterly and, and stylized and that really works for like you know marketplace where you're not looking into the face of Cleopatra yeah and I'm kind of thrown by their like who they declared a leader mm, that's fair because you have like Solomon and then you have like Aristotle's daughter or <laughs> like the, like <laughs> and that's really just a <laughs> like I guess that's, that's super fair. I don't know how to phrase it. Like it's just a nitpicky thing to be like super concerned about, but but I mean, the choice definitely is because they they all have relatively balanced powers, if you will. But like it's strange when you have like okay, one is clearly a leader, and the other's like oh, arguably, arguably, yeah. like yeah, arguably, like they did lead something, something. somewhere. Right. Sometimes. Like Plato, Plato himself is one that yes. is real sort of like, yes, he's a leader in a sense, but tough to, in like... the world of Seven Wonders, like, he wouldn't be that kind of leader. Like, not on the same side as, like, all these kings and queens we've had. Yeah. yeah. So that's a little weird. That's fair. But that goes back to the whole space-time continuum thing. We were all sort of, you know, fine with it, everything was groovy, um... And then the leaders just sort of like, you know, kicked it up a notch, yeah, I if leaders. I can steal that. Um, yeah. I, yeah. It really changed sort of my... Every, well, I mean, it changed my um, plans in the game. Yeah. Because now I... You a guide on your pathway. Surprisingly, yeah. and not always what I wanted. Yeah, it's yeah. not always a good thing. Because, like... Sometimes if they force you to go a route that's not best for you. Like I said at the beginning, you can change your um, the path you're taking depending on what cards you're getting. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I'm getting all these um, wonderful blue cards, or oh, I'm getting all this military stuff that I can build for free. But I bought these science leaders, and I need to use them. Right, right. So um, if you if you don't use them, it feels like a waste because everyone else is using theirs and getting advantages from there. So right. it really forces you down a path that you might not want to. But and you have to mean that it's um, it's sort of funny when like how much uh, how decisive mm -hmm. you can be. Just by the order that you play your leaders, yeah. like you can really make or break your own game. Yeah. Like that, um, who's the woman who um, lets you buy one oh, yeah. of anything for one? Her. Yeah. Uh, you was it, it wasn't her Queen of Sheba, was it? I it was the yeah, Sheba. yeah, her. Um, yeah, you got to play her first, so yeah. that way you get your money's worth the whole way through. Yeah, probably. I'll look her up. Easy enough to do. But she makes a big difference if you put her in early. But if you wait until the end, much harder. Yeah, yeah. you need that little book, though.
yeah. without a doubt, that little yeah. book is... Because um, there are so many leaders that to memorize what all of them yeah, do um, is, But I like, love having that many leaders, because yeah. it's like, you get a different one every time, you get different choosing every time. And yeah. Definitely haven't played with all of them yet. Yeah. It's an expensive expansion, but it definitely really seems yeah. like it's been worth it. Yep, yeah, it's like 20-something dollars, wow. just for the expansion. Like... It's a lot beefier than the Shadowhunters expansion. Oh, no yeah. kidding. <laughs> but that's one of those, like, if we compare every expansion to Shadowhunters with what you get, yeah. Christ. It's like comparing things to Sleeping Queens. And I guess. We shouldn't have started with Sleeping Queens, because not everything I'm going to compare to Sleeping Queens is we got some footing in it. Yeah. But definitely, um, you know, the number of cards, like, it would be real easy to give us, like, you know, 10, 12 liters mm -hmm. and call it a day. But instead of whatever... 20 or 30 we got mm -hmm. it's a beefy little deck yeah, definitely. Yeah. and so we really can just keep mixing and, yeah. and cooking along I think leaders is what really made me love seven wonders yeah. because I was the leaders expansion when I was still new to the game mm -hmm. and yeah. having that kind Guidance, of direction yeah, yeah. and the, I remember the first time I played without it after getting really into it I was lost I was yeah. like but I don't have my leaders. Mm -hmm. Like, what do I do? That's fair. Um, so, I mean, I would almost recommend that, like, new players play with the leaders because it gives you some kind of route to go in. That's valid. And some strategy because mm -hmm. when you're new to the game, you don't have a strategy. You're just like, what is all this? Mm -hmm. um, and the leaders kind of give you that off the bat. It'd be a, it's a fifty dollar investment with both, but it's a good investment for one of the better games. For myself, I would say uh, I couldn't recommend leaders right off, only because I like the the newness of it to this game that I know. Yeah. You know, to be able to get in and get the feel, but it can be daunting to have to make potentially you know super important decisions without having a direction to go, for some people that's a big deal thing, um, for sure, and the leaders sort of like ameliorate that um, somewhat, but, um, you know, I think that, like if I were going to, well, I mean, I, I got my brother and his wife the one game, but not the yeah. expansion, just because I, maybe they I, can sort of come to that. It's good to not get the expansion at the beginning for every game, because then it... it elongates the amount of time that you can play a game, you know, because while Seven Wonders you can play forever, mm -hmm. um, you can play forever in a day when you add the leaders mm -hmm. onto it, because right. it's a new game. Um, it sort of pops it back to to fresh. a fresh point, yeah. to a newness, you know, that for me, if I could... Plus. <laughs> if I could, for some of my favorite games, like, you know, have Trade a popping attention. point like that, yeah, I mean, I wish that I loved Arkham Horror more because there's so many expansions. It would be so great to be able to mix and match. And I've played with a couple of them. And they were neat. But the game, it doesn't change the game, you know? And if there was, like, you know, um, this betrayal, you know, expansion, if Seven Wonders... I'm, I would be shocked if they didn't do another expansion because it's so popular. Yeah. And people have really gotten on board with it. You know, if they didn't do another expansion, then I think people would be quite... Uh, add an extra science. That'd be interesting to do. That'd be interesting. But the expansion does take it to, what, eight people yeah. now with yeah. Rome, so that's a nice thing, too. Yeah, that's Maybe cool. there will be a wonder that allows you to interact with the person across from you. That'd oh, be that interesting. Would be or a cool. standalone wonder like we played in our two-player that everyone plays. Because that, that was really fun, too. Yeah. That was interesting. Mm -hmm. It'd be interesting to play it with um, more people just for funsies for us to try sometime, play like four of us with in-betweener boards. So we're not actually interacting with each other. We're interacting with the dummies. That was, mm. we, that's how you play in two-player. It was interesting. Yeah. We played with yes. Brianna. Um, we named it Brianna. <laughs> that's cute. That's cute. I was going to remember they built an awful lot of resources. Yes. Ooh, surprise! Oh, wow. It had like nine resource cards. Mm. One of each at least. Yeah. Funny. Mm -hmm. And no military for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Interesting. So overall... Um, Still almost one. 
Yeah, it did pretty well because at the towards the end we were just like these we are all good cards and it can build everything. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, yeah we were fair. scared it was gonna beat us. So like it had that. It was I don't remember what it was. Ephesius. Eph I think that's what it was. The one that can build a um, can copy any guild card. That's oh yeah, yeah. Olympia, oh Olympia. Yeah, I think it's Olympia. No. Well, either way, that was, that was what Olympia. it was, and we're like, who, um, whoever burned it gets to choose. Mm -hmm. So I'm like. I want to give it the one that will give it the most points, but at this point I'm afraid it will beat me. <laughs> like it had that guild that That's um, got one point for all of its brown cards. Right. We built a lot of those. Oh no. So, um, Interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting It was thing, interesting. Yeah. Like there were times when I just wanted to help it, you know, I was right. just like, this card will help it. And there were rules also that, well first we like to choose cards where it can buy from us. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm because we get money, right. but um, also there were rules that if it can benefit off of a free play, like it's built a card and it has a card, mm -hmm. and it can build for free, it has to build that. Wow. So um, so I had to build it for it, um, if it could benefit from it. So um, that helped it itself too. So, wow. Um, so it was very interesting yeah. to play, it was really fun. Um, I liked it, and like the hands were different too, it had its own deck, but um, we passed there was a there was this free it's called a free city right? right and there was a free city card um that we passed between us and um when we traded hands whoever had the free city card drew one extra card from its deck its deck stayed standalone like that mm -hmm. so we were only passing the same hands back and forth but drawing one each time we oh, had the free city card got it and whoever had the free city card picked two one for their own and one for that so yeah traded off so that's it was, interesting it was that really one, yeah. interesting and it was it was pretty fun too, like, and you know when you're playing, when you're only trading the same hand back and forth, you can really plan for what's in that hand. Cause some hands are like, I'm never gonna see this again, so I just gotta pick the best one. Exactly. But others, yeah. I'm like, I can pick this to buy this when I get this back. I think mm -hmm. he's probably not gonna buy it, cause it's only, you know. Only two of you. See, yeah. that's yeah. what I really like. Just to get back kind of more towards the main game about um, Halicarnassus. Mm -hmm. um, the two times I've played that, that's been like my big thing is you get a lot of cards sometimes that you really want both cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you're just like, how am I going to work this? Oh, I've got Halicarnassus. Well, you know, discard that or, you know, sell it or yeah. something that's going to put it in that discard. Mm -hmm. Build what you've got and then you've got that free move yeah, to go totally. pick that card back up. Mm -hmm. And especially when you combine it with the leader. Oh, I forget who it is. Um, one of the leaders but there is one that do, does the same do thing, the same yeah. yeah. And if you save that for like the last round, mm -hmm. um, where you um, burn and then play him, right. it's really useful to get that like back to back. Yeah, totally. Um, get to go through mm -hmm. and eat all the discards. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can um, sell the card that I really want but can't afford at all, and then yeah. it's like building it perfectly. Yeah, nice. I mean, yeah. it's a great strategy, and I mean, it's tough if you don't play it that way, or if you're not thinking about when you're burning your cards, Yeah. Mm -hmm. but if you are waiting till the end of each round, yes, and you've got that's that, what I always do. Yeah, and then you've got that leader the last one. Um, to play him the last round, I mean, you yeah. can really do some damage. Yeah. I like that. Um, for you, Bo. Mm -hmm. Is the expansion worth getting for Seven Wonders? Mm. Let's say you've bought Seven Wonders, you've played it, you've enjoyed it. Is it yeah. worth buying the expansion? Um, I think it's definitely worth buying the expansion, but if it's as pricey as you say, Seven Wonders is definitely you know a game you play with a bunch of people, mm -hmm. not just you know one person all the time. So if definitely if you um, want to get uh, your friends to chip in for it, I'm. Um, it would be really Oh, that's cheap. clever, yeah. 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 Fast, We're going to give you five bucks each for that. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, for yeah. me, it's not even a thing. I'm just oh, like, let's but put I mean, it in the like, cupboard. Like, if nothing else, that itself would make it worth it. Because then mm -hmm. it would just be like, you're almost getting it for free. Because it's definitely worth, as in, like, gameplay wise, you'll, you'll be getting the its worth out of it. It's not just an ex one of those expansions where you're like, this doesn't add much or it adds too much and screws things up. It's a really good, like, amount to change up the game just enough to keep it fresh. So. Yeah, I agree. I'd say it's worth it, but not at all necessary. Um, true, true. Seven Wonders is just as enjoyable um, playing it by itself. With or without, yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Ever. I agree. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, if you feel like you want a little bit of something mm -hmm. extra to Seven Wonders, it's definitely worth the buy. Yeah. Not at all necessary. I think it's important to sort of like 
look at it in the context of your what you're trying to get as far as games go because if you like seven wonders um you know but it isn't like uh you know constantly showing up um then the expansion isn't necessarily going to make it show up anymore right. you know it's if you maybe uh, out of every 10 games you're going to play two of them are going to be seven wonders mm -hmm. You know, the expansion probably won't bring it up to, you know, anything past yeah. three. Yeah. It doesn't um, change it that much, which is a good thing. Um, yeah. Like you said, it's not going to bring it up more, but it's nice that it's not something that you have to play. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you bought it and you know that the expansion is already out, so that means um, if it's that great of an expansion or if it's that necessary of an expansion, then mm -hmm. it feels like you're getting an incomplete game. Right, right. Because you're buying seven wonders, you're like, okay, I feel like I need this, so I have right. to dish out the extra money. So it's nice, it's really nice that it's not necessary that seven wonders is strong enough as a game to hold it to its own. That's fair. Yeah, I like settlers without the five or six player expansion. It's like you feel like you don't really have enough of a game. But at like, the same time, playing with five or six players on seven wonders takes takes forever, and it just. Seven one is settlers. Right? Or settlers, yeah. Settlers, yeah. 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 I mean, um, it takes three and a half years. Yeah. It does, and the board just feels so small. Um, mm -hmm. It's like small world without being able to take it back over. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I said when I played uh, settlers the first time that you should be able to burn down other people's places and build over, build it. over, or buy it from someone. Right, right. You because, should be able to buy a spot next to a person. Yeah, or because um, you have always like, to be two tickets to ride, pay to use their roads or something. Right, right. Because if somebody boxes you in then it's a really nice strategy for them. Sucks for you. You're mm -hmm. shit out of luck. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're not talking about those games. <laughs> but no, definitely I agree with you that mm -hmm. it'll enhance it, but not necessarily yeah. um, like change your life. So mm -hmm. I think we're kosher on Seven Wonders. Bo, do you have anything else you want to add about it? No. Buy it. <laughs> Besides buy it. Yeah, nothing else. But I think there's something I'll put in the review. <laughs> Perfect. But I'm pretty good. Good. Go on Amazon, click one click buy. <laughs> okay.